I'm going to demonstrate the uh, method to create a macro for Unifac LLE. I've got the spreadsheet open here, and uh, I've got uh, LLE selected. I've already copied and pasted the values for the Antoine coefficients. I won't be using uh, the bubble pressure, but I've done that so that we can see that at the end of the, of the screencast. I'm going to do methanol hexane, and uh, I want to initialize this. First, I want to set the structures. Methanol has a CH3 and an OH. And then uh, hexane is going to have uh, two CH3s and four CH2s. All right, now these will be replicated on the sheet for the other phase, so I don't need to worry about those. Now I also want to set up an initial composition. I'm going to set this phase to be uh, almost pure methanol. And I'm going to set the other components to really small concentrations to um, have them not be present. On the other phase, I want to set it to be having be hexane rich. Now I don't need to worry that it doesn't add up exactly to one that will resolve itself as the program converges. Now I want to um, duplicate these values. This top phase will be my alpha phase. And I want to replicate these values just so I can watch them more easily in the table. And I'm going to grab the values from the other sheet equals, and now watch, I can click this tab, and then I'm going to choose here. Now, you either want to press an operator when you reference a second sheet. You either want to press an operator, like plus, minus, et cetera, divide, or you want to press enter. In this case, I just need to press enter. Otherwise, the um, cell reference may switch back to the, to the other sheet if you come back to the sheet first. All right. Okay, now oops, I need to fix this uh, composition over here. Now I need to calculate the K values. The K values will be calculated by using the activity coefficient. So I'm going to use this activity coefficient in alpha divided by the same activity coefficient in the beta phase. And now I can copy this formula. And I'm going to then copy this row and paste the values into the old. Okay. Now for xi new, these are going to be calculated using the k old values, right? So I have to look at the reference sheet to do this, but the formula is going to be equal to 1 minus x3 old times k3 old minus k2 old minus k2 old divided by k1 old minus k2 old. And then I'm going to set component 3. In this case, I'm going to work with a binary, so I'll set this to be something really small. And then this one I will set to be the difference, equal 1 minus x1 minus x3. OK, one more thing to set up. I'm going to use the k ratios to calculate the new compositions for the beta phase. I'm going to take the new values, or let me start with x. I'm going to take k times x, alpha and then copy this across.
Okay, now I'm ready to create the macro, right? Now I've got the developer turned on here. If you don't have that, customize a ribbon. And then in this window, you will see the option to turn on the developer tab. It's not turned on by default. Okay. From the developer tab, I've got access to record macros or to edit and view macros. Right? I'm going to record a macro. My macro is going to have three steps. I'm going to create a shortcut key, control L. Okay. Now the macro is going to have three steps. The first one is going to be to update the um, K old values to copy these and paste the values. All right. The next step is going to be to take the alpha X's, the new ones, and paste the values on the alpha phase. And then I'm going to copy the betas and paste these on this sheet. And that's it. I'm going to stop recording. You can see that the K values have changed. Because of the way I've programmed the X's, they they're the same, and new and old look the same, but it has to do with the order that I copy and paste. But look at the K values. Now I can use Control L to converge this. Now I want to keep going. Uh, I want to watch until I get out to the, like the fifth and sixth digit, about the last digit I can see before I quit converging. And there you go. Now I also can check the bubble pressure here, and it should be the same for both phases. 246 millimeters from this phase, 246 millimeters from this phase. Both phases are in equilibrium with the same vapor.